Yo, what's up? Hand blogger man. Coming at you today. Because tyranny is upon us. The serious situation. One of extreme gravity. Our future as free, sovereign individuals is truly at risk. Being preyed upon by a predator that likes to pose as a savior to us, as a babysitter to us, as a guardian angel to us. They like to give themselves cute little names like the Food and Drug Administration, who, accompanied by the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, conducted a SWAT-type raid on a store in uh, Venice, California called Rawsome Foods. We're being charged with conspiracy to sell unpasteurized milk products. Raw cheese, raw milk. Really. There's video from a previous time that this Rawsome Foods was raided. This is the second time that the federal officials and the police have come in and arrested, destroyed property because of people selling raw milk, raw cheese, which is done all over the place. And now we see, uh, we see what's really going down. You know, these police are completely under the thumb of the Food and Drug Administration by the videos that you watch of the raid at live time. They don't even have any of their own original thoughts. All they say is, oh, we're here to help. We're here to help the FDA. You know, and when they get pitched the question, the inevitable question of why aren't you doing this to companies like Monsanto, who are creating products that are actually physically impairing people's health, these fucking cops just act like they don't even know. But they know this information isn't new. It's everywhere. Everybody knows about this. A lot of countries, they don't even allow genetically modified organisms into their food chain. Others have strict regulations that mandate that they be labeled. In America, we don't even mandate that. They've been given a complete pass because of their inside connections to folks like Clarence Thomas, who was a lawyer for Monsanto. Back in the days, now he sits on the Supreme Court. Getting kickbacks for sure. You think that he's going to have a biased opinion? I think so. You know, this is a situ this is a, a real a real topic that we have to face as people of the country. Is is it really in our best interest to allow folks who have ties, immediate ties into these industries into setting up laws for the industry. No, it's, we need to have a separation of interest, not a conflict of it. And, uh, I mean, what are the interests of these people, though? Going and raiding Ross and Food and a farm connected with them and charging a hundred and twenty thousand dollar bail for people selling raw cheese and milk to people the customers come there wanting to buy this product I'm sure many of them have shopped there before for this product and by doing so have created a working relationship Apparently, it's a members-only club, so they've already taken measures to ensure that folks are giving their consent and acknowledging that they are informed and ready to take on any risks that might be associated with drinking raw milk, eating 
raw cheese. Okay. And I mean, is, is the science just done on this? Like, is is that it? Look, these you you can have a company that participates in factory farming where the animals live in their own vomit and shit and sores and disease fester there so the milk is pus filled radiated bleached and toxic i mean this is also a true fact so how is it being selectively enforced I mean, we're not busting people up at bonds for going in there and buying something that could potentially harm them. I mean, really? Is that what we feel comfortable with? Having the police working with the federal authorities on whether or not we're capable or responsible enough to make our own decisions as to eating something that's wrong? This is ridiculous. And it's uh, quite concerning, you know, that these people just go along with it. These uh, foot soldiers, police officers in the video, who show no human emotion, uh, are filled with contradictions, just because, you, you know, simply, how can they even be breathing if they have no heart? crazy. And this is all in a time when the ATS is being exposed to running guns across the Mexican border. These guns have ended up inside of the hands of the criminals who use them to kill American officials and countless other innocent Mexican people and cartel, drug pushers, whatever. Killing thousands of people, you know, potentially, there's no figure. They know that they have shipped thousands of guns over there that have killed people. They know that for a fact. And are these police concerned with this? I mean, are they? Yeah. It, it would seem that it, this is just done out of the content of people doing something for themselves. I mean, these people want to get a product of raw milk and cheese and they go about it in a responsible manner, making it organic, and you police officers come in and destroy their property. It doesn't even matter if at that point you're just doing it because you've taken orders, like seriously. You have to have some sense of your own belief. And you, if you compromise the integrity of that system, you're going to have a difficult time sleeping at night. So I wonder how y'all do this. You know, what type of tranquilizers defeating y'all because I can't imagine that you can sleep after having just trampled on somebody's right to drinking raw milk and cheese man what's next what is next I mean where will you stop where will you stop you know maybe you'll stop when your kid sees one of these videos on YouTube and comes and asks you why you doing people like this Maybe then. Or maybe when you see the hand blocker man calling you out, man. Because you got to be human, y'all. It's some love, peace, compassion, understanding. So that we can continue to grow as a species. Yo, it's the hand blogger, man. Get at me. Y'all know where I'm at. Love. Love, 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 knowledge, logic. Do it, come on. Uh, yeah, hand man, what's cracking? Go, oh, go, 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 go.